Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we're putting a roof on Matt Reisinger's house. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett from Sheffield Metals. We're here in Austin, Texas. I'm with my friend, Matt Reisinger. Matt, thanks so much for being on the channel today. Thanks for having me, Thad. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I'm really excited because we're talking about this project here today. Tell me a little bit about it. So Thad, this is not just any old construction project. We're actually at my house and we are putting on a long waited for, much anticipated metal roof. Awesome. I've been putting metal roofs on clients' houses for 15 years. Um, but this is actually my roof prior to the metal going wow. up. This Let's is like that, the yeah. real confessions of Matt Reisinger <laughs> here. You know, I talk about, I've talked about metal on my YouTube channel for, uh, gosh, all 11 years I've been on YouTube just about. Yeah. And yet I've been living with a shingle roof. So this shingle roof was fairly new when I bought the house 11 years ago. It was maybe five years old. Okay. Just a cheap three tab, right? And this is way at the end of its service life. I mean, you can literally see the fiberglass. Yeah. Most of the granules are gone. It's weeping asphalt. It was it was time, man. So this is, I'm glad to get this going. Yeah, for sure. And we're so happy to be part of this project. I want to give a big shout out real quick to Sherwin Williams, Steelscape, and Sharkskin for helping to make this video possible. Yep. So Matt, tell me a little bit about the finish. Tell me about the panel type. Okay, so funny you mentioned Sharkskin and Steelscape. Underlayment on this job is the Sharkskin Ultra SA, and I'll be honest, it's the first time I've used it. I'm really impressed. That is an impressive yeah. premium underlayment. I think they may have convinced me to make the switch from what I previously used. We've got the radiant barrier on top of that, which is also awesome. We'll get to that in a minute. Yep. And then I've got a venting system, and then ultimately the metal roof that's going down here uh, is a Sheffield 24 gauge vintage, which is by the Steelscapes guys. That is a finish that's absolutely on fire in Austin, Texas. I love it, and I'm excited to get that on my house. Yeah, talk to me a little bit more about Austin. What's the metal roofing like around this area? A lot of metal roofs. I mean, I would say this is the heartbeat of metal roofs is central Texas. Tons of builders using metal roofs. Well known around here that metal is gonna survive most hailstorms and not have a problem. Uh, just a much more durable, storm resistant, sun resistant, energy efficient roof that's gonna last for decades. So, I mean, it's. For all those reasons, that's why I'm putting it on my house. Great, yeah, and we just did a video about metal roofing here in Texas. Be sure to check that out. So Matt, tell me a little bit about the radiant barrier. Tell me about your setup here. I see some diagonal battens going down. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that system. Okay, so first let's talk radiant barrier. You know, there's three types of heat transfer, if you don't mind me getting nerdy sure, for a absolutely. minute. absolutely. We've got convection, conduction, and radiation. Not much I can do about convection and conduction, but radiation, that's something we can do something about. We've got a radiant barrier. The shark skin guys make this as well. And as long as we have an air gap in front of that radiant barrier, it's gonna help reject the sun's radiant energy, which makes a big difference on attic temperatures. And most attics in Texas have ductwork up there. So we wanna try and keep those attic temperatures a little cooler. And by using a radiant barrier, we're gonna block a lot of that heat from getting the house. Great, you know, and we hear all the time people wondering, you know, do metal roofs transfer heat? Does metal make your house very hot in the summertime, especially in warm weather climates like this? Tell me a little bit about that. Tell me about cool roofing and how yeah. that's, that's more of a myth. Well, that is a total myth. I mean, most of the time your metal roof's gonna actually help you considerably when it comes to heat intake on the house but it is a little bit color dependent, right? Now this vintage is a darker color and dark does absorb more heat. So that's why we're using the radiant barrier underneath it. However, on your website, Thad, you can go and see the listed cool roofs and those are finishes that you may not need a radiant barrier yep. underneath because they're already gonna reject the sun's rays uh, from the top of the roof. However, my wife and I loved this finish. We think this is a super cool color. Architects in Austin are using it all over because it's so cool. So that's why we went with the radiant barrier underneath. So now we've got both the color we want and the radiant barrier for energy efficiency. That's awesome, really cool. So again, you got this wood on your roof. Tell me a little bit about that. What's that doing there? All right, Thad, that's an old school method for venting the roof. Just like if we were putting a tile roof on or another roof, we're leaving an air gap underneath the roof. And anytime we've got an air gap on any cladding on our house, there's a bunch of benefits. Metal roofs specifically, several benefits. If any water were to get past that metal, let's say, uh, in 10 or 20 years, if one of my roof jacks has a leak, now I've got a space for that water to get out and to dry. We're also gonna make sure we've got really good airflow in that cavity. So you're gonna notice here at our uh, drip edge, I've got a corrugated plastic piece that's spacing that drip edge off and allowing airflow underneath. And then we're gonna have a ridge cap that's vented gotcha. as well. So we actually have air flowing underneath. 
The other big benefit for a metal roof is if there's any condensation that occurs, and that'll happen a couple times of the year, depending on what's happening with temperature and humidity outside, that condensation's gonna be able to dry up and it's gonna lead to a longer lasting metal roof. Gotcha. So this is one method you could do it, and I know shark skin has another method. Tell me about that. Yeah, so shark skin also makes a dimple mat method, and that's certainly a great method too. Now, if we were using a dimple mat, we'd actually put the dimple mat first and then we'd put the radiant barrier okay. on top of the dimple yep. mat and then screw a roof on. And in fact, you probably would have a little bit better of a radiant barrier effect using the dimple mat compared to the one by two. This is a little bit more of an old school method. We've done this for years. It allows us to do things like use 5 8 plywood at our valleys. Okay. Uh, so we've got solid surfaces there. And it, I think it's a good method. Either one are good methods, but this is kind of our preferred method. And some of it too is because my roofer's been doing this method for the last 15 or 20 years. So right. there's some familiarity with it. So I see the wood is at an angle. Tell me why you decided to go diagonally with the furring strips. Yeah, great question. I see that wrong a lot. You don't want to run these vertically up the roof or horizontally across the roof. You're going to put them on, on a 45 so that now you've got airflow all the way through top to bottom. And the other big benefit is the roofer then when he's putting the roof down, you know, this is a clip system, right? Yep. It's a concealed fastener. We're not face screwing it. So now he basically can put a clip just about anywhere on there. So as you run horizontally, you can see on this panel behind us, he's able to put those clips wherever he needs to right. uh, on that panel as it goes up the roof. Great. So it's just a, it's an easier and better way to do it. Well, Matt, thanks so much for showing us your project. I'm really excited to get you this metal roof on your house. Subscribe to the Metal Roofing Channel and check out Matt Reisinger's YouTube channel, on The Build Show. Check that out right here. You can subscribe. He posts awesome content every week. Definitely check that out. Yeah, and if you're not a subscriber already in the Metal Roof Channel, hit that subscribe button. Thad and his team over there are pumping out new videos twice a week, every Monday and every Wednesday. And I know running a YouTube channel, that's a jog, man, but that's sure. great content. And I would think that people watching your channel are not just roofers or industry folks, but people that are thinking about putting that's a right. roof on and specifiers, architects, check these guys out. They've got some great content and you wanna dig in the details, whether you're an architect, a builder or a modeler, you really need to know what you're doing and what you're getting into. These guys are a great resource for information. Thank you for all you do for us. Awesome, industry. Matt, thank you so much. Comment down below if you have any questions and we'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.